Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar was firmer overnight and as it heads closer towards its objective of 70.65 could see some profit taking there. In light of the technical pattern, I still feel there is potential to the upside. Unless we clear that 70.65 level, then the profit taking may actually see the market decline back towards the bottom side of its range around the 69.15.35. Now every first Tuesday at the beginning of each month, the Reserve Bank of Australia holds its monetary policy meeting. Along with that, we also have the announcement with the Governor Lowy's statement. Considering the inflationary pressures, the central bank is expected to lift interest rates for the fourth time in many months. The RBA is expected to announce a conservative 50 base point rate hike in its monetary policy. This may officially elevate the official cash rate, or the OCR, to 1.85 from 1.35. The announcement is at 2.30 today. Looking at the euro, the market is still pressuring that top side as the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies, slips lower back to the lows of July, which is around 105.20. In light of the pattern, I feel that we could see further gains for the euro if we clear this top side level, which is highlighted around 102.7080. A break there will give further scope up towards that downtrend, but I feel the market could actually just break through there and look towards the reason of 104, figure 35 as its initial goal, and then reassess from there. The dollar yen has managed to reach its target on the downside at 131.4060. This is where I take a step back. After the initial break of the trend, the measured move gave me to 131.4065, and I feel there is profit taking likely to emerge. Along with that, we are extremely oversold, so I'd rather sit out for the moment. However, for those that are trading, there is still the ADX that's trending bearish, and therefore we may actually see a little bit more down tests. At a break of 130.140 would give exposure to the low 130 region. But as I say, I give little merit to that due to the oversold currency. And also the fact is that the market is getting awfully low when we view the RSI. Looking at the sterling, the market was stronger overnight and heads closer to its objective, which is around 123.124. Although we are overbought, the trend is still somewhat strong, but I like this pattern, the way it's forming, and therefore we could possibly now start drawing in a bit of a short uptrend that comes in here and views the support roughly around the region of 121.4555. Spot gold edges higher overnight and now near enough reaches its objective, which was at 1,772 to 74. We have seen a higher 72 today, so from now I would like to just take a step back and just reassess the market. As the, we have uh, overall rallied roughly around 80 points from the since that engulfing candle that supported the call to the upside. So for now, I'd rather just assess the next move and see whether it's going to be 1,800 or we get a pullback to 1,746. Finishing up with all, well, that rejection from that top side at $99 a barrel came through to the downside, having crushed the level of $94.60 and also now looking at the level of $92.2040. A break there would give further scope to the downside and look towards the region of $88.90, where we saw this hammer come through unexpectedly. Nevertheless, the, quite a heavy sell off around 4 or 5% overnight has put further pressure on the downside for oil. So let's see if the market can continue and head and challenge that level of 9260 area, which is where we are now. And as I say, a New York close under there will give further scope down to that 8890 area. Well, that wraps it for the morning. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the Inch Day Report and I hope you enjoy the great start to the day.